Hello YouTube, it's Lapmaker 103, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, episode 25? No, I think this is 26. I think the last episode was 25. I don't remember. I'll probably put an annotation or something up saying, nope, I was a derp, and this was this episode, yep. yada yada yada. In the last episode, we made ourselves to way to the Rito village, we bought this armor, and we obtained... A brand new memory, which you find over here in the adventure log. Uh, there we go. Ravali's Flap. By the way, at the end of the last episode, I said that this was like a peaceful music. Well, in between the recordings, I actually found out that this area's music is actually Ravali's theme music. Just slowed down and put a lot more relaxedness to it. I don't really know how to say it. But yeah, it's really good music. Okay, let's go up here and find the Rito we was came to look for. Yeah? I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. This is actually the descendant of Ravali. Let's talk to him. Mm -hmm. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Hmm. Help me? With what exactly? Far Meadow. Let me get this straight. A random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Peace Far Meadow. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link. I'm Tiba. Tiba? I think that's right. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense to me, right? That's right. Just like the Elder, to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let me make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I cannot rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to the Rito village. That is, hmm. once Divine Beast Varmeadow falls from the sky. <laughs> if I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Then let's get started. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> well, for, far, uh, far be it from me to talk you, talk you off the ledge. What? But it's as the elder said: the only way to stop the divine beast is to get inside it. If that chance that happened, there's no way we can set foot in uh, meadow. Actually, <laughs> not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter Divine Beasts are five champions of old. Unfortunately for us, the rest of Hyrule, they died a hundred years ago. If I hadn't, if it hadn't been for Ganon. Never mind. Hmm. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow, one step at a time. If we approach Meadow recklessly, its cannon will blast us out of the sky before we get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use updrafts in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are strong here that a person could just open a cloth over their head and float easily. Hmm. Now, let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air, destroy five targets set up within three minutes. I'm ready. Hmm. Go and destroy five targets with your arrows. Man, that was a lot of talking right away. <coughs> Door. Okay then. I have to say I couldn't, for some reason couldn't find another. I'm going to get you all! Ah! One more. I think we're done. Perfect. Okay, come on back. <coughs> You're a skilled archer. I was time stopped. It has time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Hmm, well, now that you mention it. 
I gotta tell you, Link. When, I f when you first showed up, I thought your someone was pulling a prank on me. After seeing you had that bow, I could tell you the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. I've seen a few. <laughs> Don't be modest. I can tell just looking at you. Link, I, f I feel like I've heard the name somewhere before. If you really want to help me bring down Farm Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give uh, so you can give its cannons all you've got. Hmm. Inside the treasure chest is a bow. I've modified it. Take it and let me know when you're ready. <laughs> okay, this bow is I do believe is pretty useful. So I'm gonna ditch this. Grab this. The Falcon bow. It's basically the same bow. <laughs> I am now. Well, let's just put it this way. When you talk to him again now, after you get this bow, you will be going straight up towards the Divine Beast. So, make sure you're repaired. You are going to need bomb arrows. I think. I've always used bomb arrows anyway. It feels like that's all you have to use. And make sure you got yourself the food and that that you need. But yeah, I'm ready. Hmm. Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Varmedo. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are pr a pr precious commodity, so don't expect me to do this again. But take these bomb arrows. Okay, so he gives you some. I actually forgot that part. Also, it'll be cold up there. If you want to prepare for warm meal or bring some warm clothing, I'm ready. Hmm. Alright, but let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down for, uh, Far Meadow? To rescue Zelda? Hmm. Zelda? But that's the name of the princess uh, Rivali served 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do in the Divine Beast uh, Var Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me to bring down Meadow, your motivations are fine by me. Here we go, guys. Get on. Alright, it's showtime! Man, even feel even I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. The Divine Beast. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, you use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by the meadow's barrier, it's impenetrable. Whatever you do, do not get too close enough to touch it. Hmm. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. <coughs> All right. Now blow up those cannons. Here we go. Just as he says, this is it. We are now ready to face off against the divine beast. Oh yeah, that's right. It takes two shots, don't it? That's it. One cannon down. Be careful. Oh no! It's aiming at me. Bye bye. Whee! Complete dodge. Oh wow, it's still aiming at me. Whee! We're in hot. I know I'm in hot. That ends that one. That's the way. <laughs> Indeed. Just don't fly up too high. Otherwise, I think it might end it for you. I'm not sure. Or we'll restart it. Luckily, because of these wind up traps, you seem to get your stamina back all the time. Don't know why. You think that'd be part of the challenge, but I suppose if you had low stamina, that would make this virtually impossible unless you had stamina of food. Or potions. Another one bites the dust. Just one left, and the, the barrier is gone. And then we can finally set foot on the Divine Beast! Oh no! I think we're about to be shot. Oh no, it's him. Nope. 
Is it us or him? It's him again. Don't even think about it. Done. Travel gate registered to map. Well now, I've seen that face before. Well, hello there. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Doesn't look that hard. But yes, guys, here we are in our very first divine beast. Divine beast, the meadow. Now then, my objective is to do the whole thing in one episode, even though I don't know how I'd do the titles for that. Because I don't know how I'd split this up, because I'm not going to lie, I just said because like three times. It's not exactly the longest divine beast. It's actually pretty short. But I do plan to try to find everything. I mean, the only way I could really do it is if I, like, record the whole thing in one episode and maybe split it up into parts. I ain't too sure. Okay then, so we're gonna first head over here, switch weapons. Uh, we'll go to this. Slish slash down, killing you. Let's see. Well, I might split this into parts actually. We'll probably stop around the 20 minute mark. Hard to really say. Sheikah Slate, a uh, site uh, distilling map of Divine Beasts. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. <coughs> the terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it? I do indeed. Now, when you go to the map, you'll notice it says these things. These things will allow you to tilt the Divine Beast. So in a way, you are in control of Divine Beast Farm Meadow. Let's see. If I aim this way, then 
I'm looking there, so that means if... Yep, that's the way. But, you can also do this in a way that you can just glide. And get yourself some pretty nice height as well. Oh, by the way, that mouth thing right there is a monster spawner. It's actually a... I guess you could say it's a skull spawner. It's weird. Ice arrows. Uh, you know what? I've decided I'll keep the whole thing in. I did say towards the beginning of the Let's Play that I was planning on like making hour-long episodes, but only if the like story elements and stuff like that. So... That's sort of pretty important. Since this is pretty much like a story-like thing, yes, I think I will leave this whole thing in. You're gonna be kind of confused on what kind of talent I do. I might just call it the uh, the name of the Divine Beast. Now, you're just doing this, of course. Right. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to do this. Probably has got enough speed. No, it didn't. Okay, I gotta turn this again. Wow, wow. <laughs> you just basically need to hold this right here, really. Until it goes. Ah! Okay. And now we're doing this again. Here it comes! Ah! Boom! There's our first control point. Once we've activated enough of these, as you can see on our map, there are these yellow dots. The yellow dots are the control points. We need to activate all of them. There are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. What's your point? Okay, with that done... Um... How'd you get into this room again? Is there a pathway? Yeah, there's a way in from the below. Now then, to get to the other side, just glide! You can actually go out there as well. I just don't see the points right now. Uh, ooh. By the way, if you want to collect every single chest in the game, I recommend that you collect all the chests within a Divine Beast instantly. Because once you are done with the Divine Beast, there is no coming back. Once the Divine Beast is set free from Ganon's control, you can never return to the inside of the Divine Beast. So remember that. Sweet, some bomb arrows. Um, <coughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna pop down here next. Yes, hello. Uh, yeah, there it is. Go away. Oh, that one wasn't. Oh, that's right. An ancient shaft in the lower section of the bird. Nintendo, you've got a strange sense of humor. <laughs> okay then, let's go this way. Um, let's do this. Get inside this stone-like gondola. And let it ride. can't hit it! What the heck? I couldn't hit it! Um, I'm kind of stuck. Really? I gotta do it all the way?
What the heck? Hit it! Thank you. My god, wasting my arrows much? I don't have much left. After this recording session, I need to go real seriously on the arrow grind. <laughs> By the way, the world is indeed down below us. And boom. You honestly don't need that gondola to get here, but it's a whatever. And here's our, another, our next control. Terminal. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. Thank you. And that opens up this door. Let's once again tilt it and work our way. We're actually going to go out the window this time. I'm jumping out the window! I have no will to live! Either way! Oh my god! Link! Jump! <laughs> if you go up here... This is the main control unit. You actually you cannot activate it right now. Okay, being out here... It's actually where I want to be because there are some chests once more on the, the top sections. Let's uh, get some distance. Okay, that didn't work out too well. We actually want to glide our way over here. I do believe there's one on the beak of this place. Yeah, the very crafty where they hide their chests. Yep, there's one right there. Giant Ancient Core, not bad. Now, just like as all other things, if you want to know if you've collected all the chests in the uh, Divine Beast, just set it to the treasure chest sensor. And of course, it will sense for the chests that are inside the Divine Beast. They won't sense for anything else. Just the ones that are inside the Divine Beast. Okay, now... Um, I think the only way to get out of this mess is to actually just glide away. Um, we're gonna go down here. Yes, I see you too. Go away, Lord of the Rings. I'm not gonna lie, this might get some hate, but I'm, I was never really the biggest fan of that movie. <laughs> yes, I said it. I weren't the biggest fan of Lord of the Rings. <gasps> How dare I! Okay, we glide our way over here to get ourselves to the next terminal. Whee! Wow, Link, hold up high. Up high, terminal! There are two terminals remaining. You're almost there. Oh, don't sound so shocked. Okay, now I just gotta lift this again. Anything above? Don't look like it. Just wait for this to get high enough. And look at it. Oh my god. Okay, we're falling. Whee! <coughs> what the? Why are we inside? I don't know. To be honest, I'm surprised that uh, Rivoli doesn't have a, a snarky comeback. Wrong way. That was just for us to get back. We're supposed to go the other way. <laughs> Only two terminals left, and it's not many chests. I think the remaining chests are inside that chamber. But yeah, we're almost done. I did say th this Divine Beast was pretty short. I'd say this is the second shortest Divine Beast, next to the one in the Zora's Domain. Okay. Uh... Deal with them. Poof. Just need to get back in there. Um, I think the only way to actually get in there is to glide from a high place. So, oh crud. No! God damn it! Here we go. Back up! Back it up! <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into- I'm gonna go up to this one first. 
There we go. Kick it! Knight's Claymore. Eh. Uh, that's a so so reward. Oh, that's a terminal up there. So we do need to trigger that. And I'll trigger that to go back up. And. Bada bing. <coughs> up high! Inside! No bow. Just one terminal remaining. <laughs> what do you know? Shut up! Okay. <coughs> For this, we gotta actually have the wings tilt like this. Put this in here so it will roll and blow that up. Yay! Let's do this. Uh, there's supposed to be... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Do this. It rolls. It blows. Then... Boom! Let's turn this off because that's not needed. <coughs> Sorry. Throat's a bit dry. And now it rolls. Let's see me rolling. It actually magnetize it from the other side. Get this into position. Then, just like before, tilt the bird! This should open the door for us. One thing I never did mention as well, guys, the Elder, the Elder of the Rito. If you actually come and talk to him, as well as the other main people you actually have to see, to uh, like start triggering the Divine Beasts and stuff like that, if you go to them with the Master Sword, you'll get a different dialogue. Yeah, they'll actually comment about the Master Sword. So yeah, a little bit of insight for you. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, I'm up to it. I have wings. Look, I'm flapping. My arms are going up and they're going down. I'm flapping. <laughs> All right. Yes, there's a new glowing mark. Back up there on the top where the main terminal is. That's is where we're heading. <coughs> it's time to take the this, our first divine beast out of Gila Ganon's clutches. Galenon. Ah! That was not what I wanted to do. There's still a chest. Oh, right. I know what this chest is. Um, can we just? I want to be at full health. A gliding we will go. A running we shall go. There's a chest on the tail of this bloody divine beast. Tired. Ugh. Oh. I'm flapping to it. I'm flapping to it. Don't yell at me. Oh, you think you can get away from me? I don't think so. Piff. All right, this should be the final chest. A sapphire. And yep, the signal has died. There is no more chests here on Divine Beast Far Meadow. We are done. All that's left is to activate the main control unit and get this Divine Beast out of Ganon's control. Let's do this. <laughs> Once again, let's do this.
thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. He defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link! Here we go! His Sc aim is dead on. Watch yourself! The Scourge of Divine Beast Far Meadow, Wind Blight Ganon. Oh crap! I thought it charged first! You actually... Right, just start the way you wanted to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little rusty. But I think I remember now. I remember how you fight this thing. Let's do this first. Because he's off lucky. I'm not in Master Quest right now. Because this would be annoying. Master Mode, I mean. Master Quest. Okay, that does it. You think you can play dirty? How about I slow down time and just shoot you in the eyeball three times in a row? Haha. <laughs> That's right, fall off the Divine Beast. I'll tell you one thing, guys. I really need to yawn right now, but for some reason I can't. You... Where is he? Oh, he's gone up. You guys ever get that yawn that just gets, like, stuck in the back of your throat and you just can't get it out? And every time you try to yawn, it, like, hurts or you feel like you're gonna choke? That's what I'm having right now, and it's annoying. Here we go. Second and final Watch phase of Wind Blight Ganon. Those things are annoying. But... Just ignore them. You can deflect its uh, beams that it shoots at you, back at him. I just, I'm having no luck doing it. In fact, I'm gonna try at least once. Ah, bloody wire. Sorry. Okay, that's just off there. I can't even see. Whoa, what the heck? Indeed it is. I'm gonna finish this! Die! Yes. Every divine beast, uh, fine, uh, divine beast boss will drop a heart container. Okay, I'm gonna go silent for the final cutscene. Once you've activated the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Do you still wish to activate it? Yes. I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. 
A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast, and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. Ravali's Gale, a, a blunderbuss power born from the spirit of the champion Ravali, creates an updraft that carries you into the sky, activated by charging your jump with X. Yes, we got ourselves an ability. Each four of the Divine Beasts will give us special abilities that are unique to the div to the guardians, uh, the guardians, <laughs> the champions of the Divine Beasts. Now, we are about to end off this episode. i just got one thing to say. After all this time, I am still shocked to this day to see how that stick of rock that sticks out like that can support the Divine Beast. How does it not break? As you see as well, there are now some new side quests. Oh yes, that's what we'll do for this episode, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, I'll have restocked up on my arrows. <laughs> Because we're practically out of those things. And we shall... I will start probably at the base of this place and we'll like walk around it and start doing side quests and everything here. We're going to begin our way to completing the, tab the Tabitha Frontier. Hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>